stuff. Um, and this one is just like going crazy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I went crazy hearing it. So. <laughs> yeah, right. that was an honor talking with you guys. Thanks Absolutely. for inviting me. Thank you for thank you for joining and taking the time to to make a yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah. Thank Thanks you. To you guys. See you Saturday. Yeah, I hope I will be here yeah, for sure. I'll see you. You're, you're pretty tall, so I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Oops. Sorry, I just removed you a second too early. But yeah, thank you for joining. We appreciate appreciate that. Um. Yeah, any any other cool quirks or stories about uh about the track we just listened to? Um I think I made that track by I was doing a, I do a lot of uh, lessons and tutoring and stuff for for people uh -huh. and I was showing how to make reese bass and stuff like that and the track came out like was made in like 1 hour the main the main vibe of it and then I took my time on the intro and the second drop and all that, but pretty straightforward, I would say. This one is actually the like more straightforward tune, I think. Mm -hmm. So not much. It just came naturally, I guess. So yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, let's uh, listen to Fenrir. I, dude, I'm butchering the Nordic name. Uh, bro, I, I don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> like, I, Fenrir. like Fenrir, Fenrir. Fenrir. In, in French, I would say Fenrir, but like, you know, Fenrir, I'm, yeah, I'd say that. Gotcha. Like the proper, uh, accurate pronunciation. Who cares? Let's listen cares, to it. Who cares, bro? It's cool. <laughs>
dude, the wolf sounds really yeah, You know like what? The... So, so, it's just me yeah. doing like... You know? Wait, no way? Yeah, exactly. and then you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the... So, awesome. Same, you know? You can just pitch dude, it. Dude, no stuff. way. I thought yeah, you like, got like wolf samples. Like, bro, you can't... You can do a lot from your voice, trust, like, I see, pitching yeah. down, frequency shifting, stuff like that. Cool. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so obviously Fenrir is the wolf that's part of the last battle of Ragnarok. Is that correct? Yeah, that's how I pictured it, yeah. I think the CP was, like, somehow Viking still, but also, mm -hmm. m m you know going to the next step maybe whatever i do next you know yeah and so ragnar being the last you know the last viking hours really like the last big battle i thought let's use that and let's use different characters such as fenrir hell into yeah. into this ep as well yeah that makes sense that makes total sense um and it, it definitely uh resonates the, the the actual song resonates with the story which is always a great thing yeah, I think it fits too, you know. It's a bit chaotic, but that's, that's the idea of the battle too. Very chaotic, very extreme, intense. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. Sweet. I'm going to bring in a couple of fans to really, if they want to ask any questions or have a yeah, comment well, about Fenrir. Of course. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Is this McDonald's? This is not McDonald's. <laughs> the disciple, but... baby. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's even better. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing so, today? Oh, I'm all good. Sweet. Um. Yeah. Go for it. Whatever you want to say or ask. Or you don't. You don't need to say anything. If you just want to ask what's McDonald's or is it McDonald's, that's cool too. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll ask for my order later. <laughs> anyway, all right, man. Um. <laughs> what I wanted to ask was, yeah. what what do you think the uh the state of things in terms of dubstep is since uh the recent passing of uh of the loved one that is NSD. Well, I think, to be honest with you, Never Said I was already kind of stopping because of Black Label stopping and, and, you know, the release going down. And a few artists from Never Said I, like a few pioneers, you know, Eptic and other guys also kind of left the team, I think. Uh, but it's still a big change in the game, you know. Even though they, they stopped releasing as much, it's still a big statement, you know. So I, I don't know where it's going, obviously, but... I know that it's, it's shifting for something else, maybe more diverse labels, you know, like like um, all of us started Halcyon and different guys starting their own label now. But I can't really tell exactly, to be honest. I, probably Vishal knows way more than me on that side. <laughs> I mean, and another thing, um, I well, actually, go ahead, Vishal. No, I was just going to say, I mean, it's still dubstep pretty strong. It's probably been like, bigger than ever with like so many yeah. touring artists that are like at the top of the game are already like pushing dubstep into mainstream and the more that there, there is dubstep in the main mainstream it's kind of better because then the whole uh scene grows together because there's more fans coming in and they're spreading out across various labels various like different artists uh fan bases so it's always a good thing for us to like just expand but yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's unfortunate they didn't want to continue with releases, but it is what it is, you know. They have yeah. To, if they wanted to stop, then there's no pressure from anyone to for to keep going, right? Exactly. I don't think we should read too much into it. It doesn't change the scene. It's just like gonna shift, but not change. It's not gonna die, you know. Yeah. Um. Well, actually, am I allowed for two questions? Yeah, go oh, for it. Okay. Um. I wanted to ask. Um. Like, do you guys think that you'd be producing dubstep in the next 10 years? 10 years? Dude, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> 10 if, years, if what, our, like, 2032? If years are still working, you know? <laughs> yeah, we I mean... Year shit. 10 years ago, I barely started producing dubstep. I think more like 7 years ago, I started, like, really producing dubstep. So, it's been 7 years, you know? Maybe in 10 years, I'll still do it in a different way, or dubstep will be completely different and still exciting i don't know it's hard to tell but i know it's going to be more diverse you know drum and bass techno like 
in between. I want to change. I want to experiment and, and blend different styles. 100%. Okay. And lastly, I was going to ask, if you were if you were to show try and get somebody into dubstep for the first time, what would be the first song you'd show them? Dude, I think I'd, I'd show something super modern, like some something not really um not what you i wouldn't show like marshmallow or like i mean marshmallow is not really dubstep but like i wouldn't show the biggest names i would just show like something like behemoth from sudden death or something like that something very very extreme dumb but dude like when i i remember actually showing behemoth to one of my friends i didn't even know what you know dubstep was and he preferred that one compared to some classic Strelix stuff or like, you know, classic Zomboy stuff. So it really, I think you should show what you really like, you know, they would get that. Mm. Yeah, I, agree. Like, I think I think you can't really show somebody dubstep in one track because I feel like dubstep is one of the few genres that constantly evolves like every few years rather than like, just like ke- keeping like the same um, like style. <laughs> It definitely evolves so much more than other genres, because if you compare it to like dubstep three years ago and then six years ago, seven years ago, nine years ago, it was it's all different slightly, but like yeah, yeah, enough that you can notice that it's a different uh, style. Yeah, I would show them what I really am into, you know. Uh, even though they might not like it, at least you you show them what you want them to yeah. think dubstep is. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm literally doing, uh, like, in, in school, like, I have to do a freaking paper on, on freaking dubstep, like, for, for the end of the year and everything. Mm-hmm. So I'm, like, trying to get, just, you know, I'm, try, I'm trying to at least get give the genre more respect amongst, like, the people that I'm around. Because, like, I'm, like, the odd one out and, like, everybody, like, cringes when they hear, like, a single bass from a song. Yeah, yeah. So you have to show them that. It's not just like a weird thing, and then there's like a massive following of like more mainstream artists doing it too, and it just it just goes to show them that it's not a weird thing. I mean, even if it is, other people are embracing it rather than just like keeping it to yourself. It's better than showing them what you can uh, sh- showing them what dubstep is than than not, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's all, it's not all screechy basses and everything. Like, yeah, there's melodic. Things. Yeah, it's way diverse. Yeah, exactly. There's there's something for everyone. Uh, all right then, I'd say I'm done, uh, and I would say that Fenrir is probably my favorite track so far. Thank you, appreciate that, I appreciate that, and thank you for asking good questions and all that. Yeah, and uh, absolutely. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm gonna move you to audience. Hey. I'm gonna bring somebody else in. Headless Ghoul. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it Yo, going? What is up? I'm good. <laughs> uh, uh, how how is it going? Oh, good man. Just vibing, listening to the music. And yeah. yeah. That, you. that was uh, that was pretty cool. I love how the intro like was just like going into war, and then the first drop hits and just like the whole entire war just like. The whole fighting starts, and I think the very last drop is probably my favorite with that like triplet melody for the growls. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite as well. I think, yeah, the, the rhythm is. I mean, I I was almost putting that one first, but it didn't make sense. So, but yeah, that's probably my favorite as well. Yeah. Any other questions <coughs> or comments? Yo, did he? Can you hear it? No, I can't hear him. No, Hello, yeah. Him. What is that? Shit. That's awkward. Never mind. What? Can I move them to audience? And we're going to continue with the two tracks that are, are not out yet anywhere. Well, it might be out depending on where you are in the world. Um, But let's listen to Hell. I'm sure you guys heard the preview in the, in the teaser, but we're going to do it proper justice here. Oh, it's wait. Actually, I have to copy the correct link. Sorry. This one is actually more Viking, properly Viking. I yes. guess you'll see, guys. It's different. Mm-hmm. 
And thank you, everyone, yeah. in the chat. Um, yeah, thank you so, guys for, for spamming and, and commenting, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. And thank you for the, the comments and the love and all that. Um, so this one was the first one I made for the CP, uh, just after I released the previous one last year. And uh, I made the tune by literally taking a violin, you know, the... This one. And putting it in the drop and then filtering and, and doing a bunch of stuff on it so that it's like a bass a little bit but it was a nightmare to mix like it took me so long to mix this one because of you know a violin is so far away from a bass line like you can't get further from that so i had to group with reese bay do a lot of parallel processing but i'm happy about the result you know it just was very chaotic <laughs> to to finish this one. Hey, it sounds clean, and I think that's all that matters with yeah, with, with like the end product, right? And it's exactly what I had in mind too. So that's that's cool, you know. Yeah, you did a spectacular job with like making sure the it didn't sound weird in the mix. 
Yeah, at first it was completely quiet and like low energy because it's a violin, obviously. So, yeah. But thank God for OTT and all that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of glue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big, big, Amazing. big time. All right, I'm gonna bring in, bring, bring in <laughs> Terrify. <laughs> yes. Terrify. If you're here, join the thing by clicking on the button that lets you join. <laughs> Your terror. Am I Paul? Paul Musso? Hey, Paul, guys. How's it going? And oh. Terrify join at the same time. Well, we can I'll, get I'll this. Mute. We can I'll mute quickly yeah. and let Terrify have a go. Perfect, okay. thank you. Oh, good. Too easy. Terrify, how's it going? How's it going? What's up, man? You good? Yeah, good. Did you start doing your own Viking rhythm stuff too, huh? I, 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 I've kind of messed around with it. Um, even the the terrify my my name. I actually use the the helm of awe actually behind my logo, so I even have like a little Norse symbolism and things. That's dope. So you, when did you start that? Um, I would say probably about now well, two years ago ish. Kind of fiddling around with it, and okay, I, cool. I I always had the idea to start with it, and I just kind of really looked into vsts and things like that just recently because you know it is scarce to none to find any of that to be honest Matt, if you want to know how i i made all of that viking stuff um the truth is that on many occasions i go on youtube and i go on like uh amateur recording of like concerts like in finland or whatever like with literally like 150 views 200 views whatever it's low quality, but the emotion is here, you know, it's like traditional instruments from then. I could send you a few videos if you want, and then you process it. And then you just process it so much that it be becomes yours, you know, but I didn't use any contact bank, I didn't use any anything available if you want, but it's just, yeah. <clears throat> right on. yeah. Like... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Uh, I was saying that, like, finding specific instruments through this theme, you can just basically go watch, like, any Viking-related movies, or, or more actually, Viking-related shows, because there's many Viking shows, and oh, just yeah. see what the what the soundtracks are, and, like, what the music is, and who's making those, and you can always go deeper into the hole and find those uh, music directors or music producers that that make music for these shows and see how they did everything for the show. Yeah, I've yeah. even kind of like looked into, it. I've even kind of looked into like, you know, obtaining some of these, you know, like the the three string lyre and things like that, like the bowed lyre and things like oh, that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I wish I had one of these. So I, I, I get I have to sample it, but if I had one of these and I could play it, it'd be be a dream, you know. I just yeah. sent you a link uh, if you want to check TR. And that link is what I use in my track Berserker. Uh, so, yeah, just check it out. You'll see what I mean by sampling stuff. It's literally low tech, but it works. <laughs> yeah, I always kind of tiptoe around that just because I, you know. Yeah. yeah. I've just recently been messing around with resampling everybody's stuff and dealing with the copyright things. And Yeah, of course. Yeah, like you said, just process it enough that it won't pick up anything and it becomes yours, though. So I, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's just like make your own library. Literally, that's it. And you're yeah. going to have fun. And then the more you do, the more you'll have content. And yeah, it's, it's literally 50-50 on what you do and what you sample at this point. But that's how you should. I mean, there is no way to do Viking instrument from Serum. It's just impossible. So Right. <laughs> you know. So yeah, good luck on that, man. Thank you again for joining. And, yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you, guys. And good luck for the tune. Yeah, thank you. Of course. All right, Your Paul. Vision. Let's yeah. have it. <laughs> All right, yeah, g'day, guys. How are you? Great. How are you, man? Yeah, well, thanks. Um, so, uh, Sammy, that's a. I really love your style. First of all, um, thanks it's so. It feels really timeless. It's just, it's super stompy. It's super heavy and definitely in hell there was a lot of um there was a couple of rhythmic elements that switched up every once in a while so it was sounded superb and I, I think I reckon that's my favorite track on the um EP so far so I'm um, really appreciate it. 
well yeah the companies in here I, pre- too well. I appreciate that i appreciate that a lot man and um i i love timeless music i love you know soundtracks classical music you know every norse music and stuff like that is what i love outside of edm so it means a yeah, lot you ab- said that absolutely no, that's good um i was also with you talking about how um in the first track we heard friction, you, you said you went with a lower sustain bass as opposed to sort of screechy stuff. I really love that sound too. I think it's part of what you're doing. I know it's old news now, but um, Molitor, there was a, I feel like there was a really, obviously because it was a part techno track, but um, yeah. there's an emphasis on sort of low sound. I think it really cuts through the scene because Dubstep's obviously getting really bright. So um, Dude, I think it, that I see really you're right something. on that one. And what you just said is literally what Loki I'm trying to do now. Uh, I'm trying to go awesome. more. Uh, have more of my sound resonate in the low end literally like i know i've been super high end like screechy like and stuff like that but yeah on my latest tunes i go more stompy lower i don't know it's hard to explain but that's where i'm vibing right now so maybe you'll no, see more of I that can definitely you know? tell. it sounds it sounds superb it's really awesome and if you don't mind i have a, a mixing question which i which has been yeah. bothering me for the last couple of weeks I've been watching a lot of um, F- Fox Stevenson VODs and he always has um, separate sessions for mixing and mastering after he does his arrangement. Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious what, what you end up doing. Is it all a one project thing or do you, do you go through separate projects and sessions like, like he does? No, it, it's usually just one project. So uh, except sound design, I, I use bits of my sample packs, bits of yeah. presets, but it's MIDI, you know. Most of my tunes still have the MIDI um yeah. in effort studio you, you don't have more than 10 effects so i try to keep it super optimized i i would say instead of using five eqs i just use one and yeah awesome but i i think that that makes the project work and you don't need that much you know yeah, yeah and, and the mixing the mixing is done directly in the project on each channel and then at the end i don't do a lot of mastering i would have an eq imager maybe um and that's it. That's what you hear, you know, directly from the project. Yeah, I don't do different projects. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much for that one. And um, just before I head out, thank you for sure. This is such an awesome initiative, the listening parties, and I've been to quite a couple of them now. It's just superb. So thank you yeah, for everything you do as well. Thank you, guys for, yeah, joining thank you Paul. Yeah, I appreciate that, that man. Awesome. Sure Cheers, we're, guys. We're good. And good luck yeah, for your tunes you. and your mixing. Thank you very much, mate. Good luck Enjoy, on guys. your journeys. <laughs> Cheers. Yo! <laughs> oh, damn, <laughs> that kick just... Sorry, my trigger finger was slipping because I'm eating a burrito. Um, <laughs> but hey, Kyle, company, welcome to the server. Welcome to the <laughs> listening party. Thank you, thank you. What um, is up, bro? I am just wrapping up that uh, that like whip I sent you. I'm like almost done with it. Sheesh, dude, this one is big. Produces bro. like a machine. I don't produce as like crazy as I did in like like the new rain never say die era like mm-hmm. when I was making rapture and shit like I swear I was like banging out songs like in a day or two like really frequently and now I now I like my mid group in this project file is like 90 tracks dude like Damn, same man. for the tune we're about to hear yeah. it's like probably yeah. like a hundred broads it's, it's been, so literally. tedious but like it's the only way i can get like the refined fullness or like timbre i'm looking for but it's like such a slow workflow dude yeah hey, i mean but, the, the, at some point you gotta you know just head down and like pay more attention to little tiny details that's gonna make it like so much better than you know just doing track a day yeah for sure at this point, when you have so many fans that want quality stuff, that's yeah, like yeah, really important. And it's also going, bro. Like Kyle goes so crazy with uh, sound design sessions. Like I've never seen that. <laughs> like literally, I'm not joking. This guy is like 150 tracks just on the bass group, as he said. Literally, that's true, like, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I use five. I'm like, I'm tripping already with five. I'm like, whoa. Like, like, each sound. Like, you- go at the top of the game you know it's like that's what you need to do is put in the work yeah man. You gotta uh, work. i feel like it's it's a really bad workflow but i just make it work somehow like anytime i show people my projects they're like how are you like remaining sane like just moving layers around and i'm like i'm like barely i'm hanging on by a thread yeah bro <laughs> <laughs> shit all right uh, before, 
sorry, not to cut you off, Sam, but before we, no, we get too deep into this rabbit hole, let's let's hear the track, uh, the title track of the EP, uh, with company, obviously. And yes, I'm about to play it as soon as I find this spot. Here comes of a young girl and planets It is an ally I seek. Even in death our battles will rage on. It is the way of things. what i call yeah. theme track dude yeah i better put that in the next whatever ragnarok related movie dude gonna... that'd be so sick <laughs> imagine that but yeah 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 what was the what was the process of how did the collab come together um... uh we had a couple whips we tried <laughs> like uh besides limit 
There were a couple older ones, uh, the spot that you had sent me, and like yeah. we've sent sounds back and forth a lot, and just like chilled on calls and showed each other stuff. Mm -hmm. And I had a really old project of this tune that Excision was playing out that we like just took it and like completely flipped the intro and then just deleted the drop and did something fresh. And we like, com like we completely gutted it and just made it super Viking, which was super fun because there was like a structure there. Yeah. But we kind of just got to, to get super creative with it. So we yeah. did a lot of it on Zoom calls and like uh, passed it forward a bit, uh, like back and forth. And like Sammy went in and like did this insane square drop for the se for the second drop. Yeah, it all came together really well. The There's like so many. Uh, different like versions of this song we went through too like uh, really like machine gunny ones and yeah yeah we, we took we took our time on the drops i think the intro was like straightforward but yeah it took, took like probably a year at this point I, I <laughs> it's mean, crazy yeah. you know knowing you two i can't imagine how many versions there were oh bro like just quite a bit yeah. but we knew we knew we ha we needed to i mean we knew we could do better at this point so yeah we got really stuck for a while too so it wasn't like a year of grinding on it like we would revisit it and like write a drop and be happy with the session and then i would be right. like car testing and like playing it out and stuff and i'd be like ah something's just not there for me and like we exactly. both knew in that newer version that it was like really that's it like full and nasty and like the the yeah. the, the handful of uh producers i like share stuff with pretty frequently we're all like yeah this is fucked like everyone liked it so that was a good yeah. response that's yeah. great um yeah i'm sure everybody like loved the whole viking style of it too with the with the themes and the sample selection for the vocals yeah and stuff. yeah um all right i'm gonna yeah, bring in and a couple of a couple of fans before we wrap this thing up um if you guys don't mind uh, no, of yeah, of course. Bring in vertical. Yo, vertical, what's up? Hello, vertical. You're muted, I think, or something. It's like when someone waits an hour for the feedback stream and then they send <laughs> they send the dead <laughs> link. The link is broken. <laughs> <laughs> right, what is up, man? Up. No. Um, guess All we're right. gonna keep him here. Oh, yeah, just let him chill. Cool again. Yes figure it out dude don't worry hello back to hey, there we go hi sorry my mic decided just to die when i was gonna ask my question <laughs> no way well now i can hear you clearly yeah i was i was gonna ask what's it like just to be uh in disciple because i've been wanting to at least get like a song released on there for a long time yeah company how is that being in disciple? <laughs> <laughs> you're not in disciple yeah <laughs> That's so funny that it just so happened to have timed up to be like yeah. Yeah, a, my a first timing. release immediately after that. Yep. <laughs> what, yeah. So what is the qu question is, what is it being in Disciple or released in Disciple? Yeah, like what it? what's, it, what's it like being like in Disciple and how, how do you get like something released in there? Well, being in Disciple is just like you can hang out see your like everybody from from the the disciple crew when we meet in la usually play a lot of shows so it's i mean it's great to be honest uh a lot of opportunities you know playing we played rampage with the boys we played edc we did lots of tours and stuff and when it comes to release you don't need to be in disciple to release you know like you can just send an ep to the team and if the ep gets pa past the release test or i don't know how you call it but you can get released, you know, without being a disciple member. So yeah. it's two different things. I don't know, V, if you have anything else yeah, to think, add to I that. Think, I I think generally what the question is like, how do I get records signed to not just? I think that, that's what the question people. is. Yeah, <laughs> it's basically like just make cool, dope, unique shit, shit, and let the labels find you rather than you trying to reach out and getting shot down or whatever happens. If you do yeah. make unique stuff, it'll always be heard by everyone and people find find it and hype it up you know because people the thing is uh, uh like fans and people like other producers they always want to find the freshest like artists and 
be kind of claim that oh i was the first one to find this artist like and they would share it with their friends and it'll, it'll just organic growth is i think important when it comes to like getting to labels first something yeah. something that was really big for me too um is kind of like having a package of a decent quantity of stuff with like you know stuff you're really proud of which will give record labels this idea of like oh this guy definitely has some consistency you know like it's a safer bet to like take tunes from them knowing that you'll probably get something good in the future whereas if you're just sending like one song every couple of weeks like as you finish them it's just like not as impactful but if you get a playlist of like really good stuff they can scrub mm -hmm. through if they end up liking like two or three of the songs then you're like foot in the door for like maybe doing an ep you know oh uh, yeah exactly i might act i might That's actually really try nice. that too it's good just <laughs> back up like seven or eight like really good songs even if it takes you a while like you'll be in a position like i i got lucky a lot in my career like whenever i met a certain person or got a weird like a certain connection through like someone really small you know like a real just fucking random thing and then i would have this catalog on me so that i could capitalize on that moment whereas like you don't want to like run into skrillex and he's like send me stuff and you have like one song you know like you want to be like yeah. damn here's a bunch of bangers yeah that's it's super true and it's like whenever i think it, it was the same thing with us with bandles is like when we were, when we started pitch not pitching but like making more friends we just set shoot them an entire playlist of like 20 tunes and at least half of them are decent enough that they're like okay these guys mean business or this person means business yeah. so having that being being prepared f to take to capitalize on the that tiny bit of luck that you get is super important yeah i wouldn't overlook the quality to to reach quantity though like yeah focus on the qual the quality first and then start pumping stuff out but oh, yeah. just don't rush 100%. yourself to like yeah. put out a song just because you finished it and it's going to be you know get it out asap i want people to hear this like patience is always pretty helpful in my side of things i've noticed and also yeah. from myself i think it's pretty similar i've never uh, uh, reached out to any label um never i've just i knew i could wait so what i did is i post clips i used to post clip on soundcloud now people do it on twitter or whatever and I think it's a good way if you're confident in your tune, you don't really reach out, but you expect some traction. And that's when you can get some proper hype and release. And the hype around you will also likely bring you more release, you know. So yeah. it's all organically going to happen in that way. But it's hard. Yeah, I know it's hard. It's like easier than ever to like kind of go viral with, with the clips on Twitter because oh, you yeah. don't have to have any falling because... Once you have something really cool, people are just gonna automatically share it, and it just it just spreads like wildfire. Like like look at Papa Khan, like his his big tune was, was like a oh, clip, dude, right? mad and it marshmallow just viral. Yeah, I see. It's one in a million though, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, of, of but, course. <laughs> yeah, but, but it, it, he had the quality like tune to you know support and that. uniqueness and just also good timing, I guess, on the melodic stuff um mm -hmm. which was popping at that time so but yeah, yeah it's it's a bit of everything luck and timing and content so yeah it's definitely a great question though thank you so much for that thank you as well <laughs> and good luck uh, good luck yeah thank you vertical you there hello he's alive hello oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. Switched my phone i don't know why headset was working all right anyways uh banger ep very brutal i love yes. it and this is definitely my favorite track. You guys did Appreciate amazing that. on this one. Absolutely Appreciate love that. it. Yeah. What'd you like I, more about it? Um, I like um just just the different sounds that I I believe with just like with uh both you and company, um, merging together. Just the sounds on that compared to the other ones, I just really enjoyed. A lot. Yeah, the sound design. Yeah, it's pretty unique, I guess, on on this EP. And also, generally, yeah, like, like the sounds worse. No, like it's not preset. It's nothing. It's just like messing around in Ableton for ha literally hours until it sounds good. So, yeah, 
Everything. And I, I, of <laughs> course, I love the just the kind of uh, with the past couple EPs, just the um, themes, you know, with you know, uh, yeah. Viking esque or uh, mythology kind of deal going on. I really like that it's kind of telling a story almost. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's what I try and do, and and I love, I love. I try to tell stories. I love, you know, ancient music, like, as I said before, like classical music, soundtracks. It's what I listen to mainly when I'm not listening to EDM. So I, I, I love blending these two styles always, you know, cinematic and electronic, generally speaking. So I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Um, I think a question I have that isn't necessarily, like, music related, but, like, in terms of, like, the art, do you have any input on, like, the art? That gets yeah. put out. What happens is I send like a few pictures and like I tell uh, roughly where I want everything to be. And to be honest, that like they did exactly that. Like I, I told them I need myself older in the middle, not as a king, but as a fighter and like godlike. And then I need the wolf in the in the background, hell in the background, a volcano in the all the way to the back, and that's that's it you know they made it happen so so yeah it's pretty cool man yeah that's really cool i like that a lot yeah yeah sam yeah. vertical is the artist that does like uh, like monthly oh, fan shit, makeups yeah that's him on instagram that's he it does i the, saw all the cool collabs. so you did um i saw it on twitter the other day how do you do like do you just take the pictures and then do it on photoshop yeah, I take the screenshots most like most likely from Twitter because they had kind of have the best quality of it. Yeah. Um, and then I'll just uh trace out um whatever like main part of it um and then just uh kind of rearrange them like once everything is released for the month I'll just kind of rearrange to whatever I think fits best and just kind of do little editing make things glow and stuff like that and usually I'll save them uh with just the the PNG kind of image and then do the full year as well. So I have that already and done. Let's go. Big up from that. Pretty sick, man. The tweet in the yeah. listening party text if anybody wants to check it. Right. I was going to search for it. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Damn. <clears throat> yeah. Big, thank big you work, so man. much, man, for, for all, the, all the cool stuff that you do. Yeah. Thanks for all the amazing releases. I just, it's so awesome. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that again. Can't wait to hear more. And I'll check. I'll check your. I'll give you a photo on Twitter, by the way. Yeah. I, there we go. Boom. Oh, I <laughs> I did it again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring you back. Bring you back for whatever you wanted to say, real quick. If you can figure out how to join back. Oh, invite to speak. Come on. Hey, oh, sorry. Sorry. About that. Sorry. What it? What I cut off? <laughs> I don't remember what I said. <laughs> You don't remember what you were. were I, was, <laughs> I don't remember. I, I don't know where I cut off. I just said it's, something about Instagram. Gotcha. I have my Instagram oh, yeah. too. Instagram. I'm more active on that. Yes. Yeah. Send it on the on the chat, man. Yeah, I'll get it when I get a chance. I'll get the link for that. But yeah. Perfect. Anyways. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, should we do maybe one more person in here or? Yeah, run it. it down for whatever. Right, let's do it. Do one more, and then I'm gonna go back to finishing this. Yo, song. is my mic good? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yo, yes, all sir. All right. I got like what? just a question what? for each of you, if that's all right. Sure. Yeah, of course. Uh, all right. I'm I'm gonna start off like that song. Really loved it. So, pat yourself on the back. I, I fucking loved it. Thank you. Um, Thank you, man. We have amplifier. Uh, first, I want to ask, like, you've mentioned this is kind of like the end of the, the Viking Venom era. Do you plan on taking more kind of like historical themes and incorporating them into your music? Because I would love to fucking see that. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I That's something I, I always do. I don't know why. I, I just like blending historical music. I said end, end of Viking because it's a statement for myself. You know, I don't want to get stuck. Uh in that Viking style forever, you know, I've done two EPs already and I want to, I'm glad I said that. So now I have to make something different. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but I know it's going to be, it's not going to be too different, but maybe more rhythmy, maybe more stompy, maybe 
deeper, maybe a, like diverse, like drum and bass, techno together. Like, I don't know yet. I want to experiment more. So I can't tell you, but I know it's going to be cinematics for sure. So, well, fuck, man, that, that, yeah. I'm, I'm super hyped for that whenever that happens. That's, I feel like that's what's kind of missing is more cinematic shit because it's not just all about the drops. It, it, it's got to be like the, every song should be a story. And I feel like uh, a lot of times people overlook the fa- fact that the drops don't have to be the best part of the song. It could literally be the midsection that makes you go, oh, fuck, this really makes me feel something. Yeah, dude, 100%. And I'm glad you feel that because it's, it's still pretty heavy, but I, I try to add that element of, you know, organic, cinematic, you know, non-EDM stuff. Um, it's just my style, so appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yeah. And then company I had a question for you. It's yeah. not totally on the line of music, but I've been seeing you've been wearing uh, like Ghost Hard hardware. Yeah. And that's totally my shit. Like I've been I've also bought some of that. And so I was wondering if you have any recommendations for any other brands that are kind of similar. Uh I like um Revenge and Alien Body. Um I'm trying to think of some more brands off the top. What's up? Oh, Civil Regime's really dope too. I just got a really cool hoodie from them too. But yeah, Ghost Ghost Hardware stuff is just so good, and and Safe Haven, the guy whose company it is, is a super good homie of mine. So wait, so it's cool seeing him crush it. Damn. All right, well, thank you. I'll I'll make sure to check those those three out. Yeah, hell yeah. Really thank you again, man. Dude. Very very cool specific i love it yeah same <laughs> yep awesome man thank you well thank you guys for joining in uh thank you kyle <coughs> thank you sammy for yes for thank you for having me guys. And, yeah of course and thank you all in the audience for joining and and constantly supporting the releases and and the community as a whole yeah and, thanks a lot and thanks for listening you know appreciate yeah. that and um Eat Let me know if out. you have any feedback or anything. I'm I'm open to yeah, listen to your points, guys. I need feedback. Uh, yeah, company <laughs> yeah. needs feedback. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. I'll be yeah. yeah. Here. Take it Same. easy. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you, everyone. See you uh, in a bit. The EP will be out in three hours um, in the United States. Exactly three hours. It's six o'clock right now uh, on Spotify. Yeah. And then I'll just ping the server. So if you guys are on the lookout. You guys can you guys can listen to it on Spotify. But yeah, thanks guys. Thank you so much, and thank you V for that again. Yeah, Appreciate course. that. Kidding no it, man. Problem. All right. All right. Let's close this.